second Star Wars game I'll cover. I wanted to get the least in-depth one out of the way next. This is Star Wars Jedi Arena, a game where you duel an AI-controlled Jedi or another player for multiplayer. What should have been a neat idea turned out to be the worst thing of the quad trilogy. So strap in for a quick review. Did he say strap in or strap on? The idea is your two Jedi dueling with a training bot. It will send lasers at random in various directions. You need to use your lightsaber to block the lasers from hitting your force field. If it breaks through and hits you or your opponent, that person is the loser. Sounds simple, right? What could possibly go wrong? Except everything. For this is single-handedly the worst Star Wars game on Atari 2600. As for why, well, that's what the control section is for. Wait, don't click off the review. Get your fat space ass back here. So, how does this game control? What are the mechanics? Well, it turns out you use the stick to move your lightsaber left and right, trying to block the oncoming laser blast from the training droid. Except... Uh-oh! The controls... Here it comes! Don't... work. It could be broken. Maybe it is! I tried everything I own to get it to work. I even tried to unplug and plug the controllers back in but nothing ever worked. Then I went online to see if there was anything about how the game works, but I couldn't find any clear answers. But then again, that's what I get for using Google. It was too busy giving me subreddit posts about why incels are victims and Hassan Piker should be the President of the United States. Yeah, sounds a lot like Reddit. Dear God, that sounds too much just like Reddit. I ain't, even, I ain't even going near that. Anyways, the game cannot be played. All I can do is describe a few more things and get to the score. The ball moves left and right, spewing lasers at random. It can either go slow or spaz out like a Gen Alpha kid when their tablet battery dies. No more Cocomelon for the dum-dum. You have a shield of three layers. As the laser hits a piece, it disappears, meaning you basically have three chances to protect yourself before an opening occurs. Player 1 is always the blue guy, and player 2 or the CPU is always the red guy. After 3 hits, game over. Everything restarts. Gotcha, bitch. Honestly, I'd rather go play Bird vs. Camel or Return of the Jedi Death Star Battle. While those games have issues, they're still more fun. In fact, I'm excited to review those games. I guess there just always has to be a sore loser of the group, such as Velma from Scooby-Doo, Aquaman from DC, or even Squidward from Spongebob. There must always be the lesser of a group somewhere. And for Atari 2600 Star Wars games, Jedi Arena is that lesser of this four game group. That's beautiful, it's like poetry. If this game had worked, the only thing I'd like to have seen differently is the sheer amount of screen flashes. I don't get seizures or anything, but man, did my eyes hurt after a while just sitting there watching the game play without me. What are you 
seem smoking. At the end of the day, Star Wars Jedi Arena is the worst of the quad trilogy of games on Atari 2600. There's no redeemable factors, cause you know why? This controller is a piece of shit. What's the most important aspect about any fucking game? Well, being able to fucking play it. And what do you need to fucking play it? A fucking controller. So what do you do when the controller doesn't work? You're fucked. Had it worked, I'd still call this the weakest of all four games. There's nothing special about it. They should have just made a basic fighting game with lightsabers instead. I don't want to block laser blasts. I want to slice people in half like the Darth Maul. Oh well. Now that the worst one is done, I could focus more effort into the last two games, which will come in the future. Don't worry, I'm trying my best to keep a steady schedule. I hate it when I don't upload constantly. It feels like I'm being unproductive, a bum, an Asmin Gold. Suck a fucking dick, shut the fuck up. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you all later.